This is how I make sushi using Sam's Club Salmon. This was one of the most requested ones. This used to have a sashimi grade label, but recently it's changed. However, from the FDA perspective, this should be safe from a parasite perspective. There's some miwara and there will have to be some trimming. Checking for pin bones here. As usual, let's divide it into six pieces. Here's the belly piece. It has a weird studded texture to it. Let's get it out on the curing tray. Nice. Let's leave one control, one with salt only, and the rest with salt and sugar. You just need enough salt to cover all six surfaces. Next, the sugar. sugar. This will help speed up the curing process and will really round out the flavors. Many, many minutes later. Instead of the double bath, we're going to rinse it under a gentle stream. I ended up finding multiple bones. Be sure to pull them out. Now that these have been washed and dried, let's have a closer look. Here's the control. It looks pale and soft. Here's the salt only. You can tell that it's much firmer now. And here's the one that's been cured with both salt and sugar. It's the firmest of the three. Let's trim all three pieces and slice it into sashimi. Here's the control, salt only, and salt and sugar. The cured ones have a pretty similar texture. However, the control is very mushy. Let's have a taste. Forbidden wasabi mix. This one I'm a little hesitant to eat on its own. You know what, this one actually has a little bit of fishiness. Mm. It has a little smokiness to it, which is a little bit weird. Just the salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one, the texture is definitely better. You needed the sugar to round out the saltiness. I did wash it pretty well, but I think some of the salt inevitably penetrates the skin, so it is pretty salty. The magic one. <laughs> that one is the best. The plain one, it was pretty fishy, I wouldn't recommend it. Salt one, pretty salty even though I washed it, but the texture is there. Salt and sugar, it's really balanced out. Out of all the supermarket ones I've tried, this one is probably the worst. It is cheap, $11, but it's markedly worse than the $6 one from Safeway. Sam's is probably the one of the most requested ones outside of Aldi's. Sorry, I don't have an Aldi's and Trader Joe's. I'll get to it. I was pretty excited because everybody told me it's going to have the sashimi grade label on it. They actually just changed that apparently. And I personally wouldn't recommend it. It was pretty fishy. There was multiple bones left in there, but the texture was also all wrong. We won't be going back for it, but it was fun to try out. If you have any other recommendations or places you want to see, I will give it a try. This one I'll probably cook before I eat it, just for safety. Alright, thank you.